want to be there and baby dance the night away I let my head down if I won Okay guys, so this is everything you'll need for this um, like taco chili so um, one can of pinto beans one can it calls for kidney beans but this is why I I really liked this when I was searching it um, the lady who originally made this subbed out the kidney beans for black beans because she doesn't like kidney beans and that's perfect for us because Steven <clears throat> doesn't really care for kidney beans um, he said when he grew up his he didn't really ever have any beans in his chili which is so crazy to me so we're easing him into the whole bean thing in the chili so um, had to keep the pinto beans in there because I love pinto beans and then subbed out the kidney beans for black beans Again, I've never seen anyone put refried beans in their chili, so I'm really pumped about this. One can of refried beans. It only calls for one can of corn. I love corn in my chili, so I grab two cans. I'm going to leave the juice in there for one of the cans, and then I'm going to drain the juice for here. And then in both of these beans, she said that she did drain her beans. So drain... Um, both of these to avoid less sodium unless you don't really care so I'm gonna go ahead and when I dump it in my crock pot I'm gonna drain these two keep this one as is keep that one as is and then drain this one and I'll put all this in the description box um, and then one can of diced tomatoes and green chilies I grabbed the fire roasted because I thought that would be really good and then two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce so that's it as far as cans and then two seasoning packs um, one original ranch packet and one taco seasoning and the only thing that you'll need besides what I've laid out here is the turkey meat which I'm about to brown in my skillet alright so I don't know how great you can see but I'm about to just literally dump everything in the crock pot so the first thing you want to dump is the meat, and I didn't film this because it's literally just browning meat in a skillet. So I'm going to add that, and I just seasoned it how I would like normally season any of my meat. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to add my pinto beans, I'm going to add my black beans and my refried beans these are always a hit or miss for me sometimes they come out and sometimes I have to fight with them a little let me grab a knife try and push this out there we go decent And then one can of corn undrained. And then one can drained, because y'all know I love me some corn. And then tomato. I did the fire roasted. It didn't call for fire roasted, but I thought that would be really good in here. And then two eight ounce cans of tomato paste. If you can find a 16 ounce, my grocery store just didn't have it. <clears throat> it had 19 ounces, and I've heard Georgina talk about this before, but like, if I'm not able to use the whole white can, like, no, can't do that. My OCD is like, nope, not okay with that. Okay, and then depending on how um juicy you like it, she said to do like one to two cups of water. Oh crap. <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and do two cups of water. And then a little bit less than two. And then the last thing, or there's two last things. You're going to do a pack of taco seasoning. Which I'm just going to add in here. And then you're gonna do a packet of ranch. Which I'm actually gonna add one more seasoning to this as well. <clears throat> and that smells like really freaking good. Okay. And then we're about to head out to go to church. So um, this is gonna make a lot like this. We're gonna have dinner for 
a hot minute, which is great. Um, I'm gonna probably end up taking this to work. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna come out to zero points per serving, which is awesome. Okay, so I kind of got it all stirred in there. There's one more seasoning I'm going to add. <clears throat> I'm going to add, and sorry my voice sounds so gross. I'm going to add some Julio's. I don't know if it'll focus or not. For a second I thought it wasn't recording and I was about to cry. Okay, so this is just some Julio seasoning. Sorry, I can't get it to focus. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. I love the seasoning, so good. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like right now. Mm. It literally already smells amazing, and it's not even cooked yet, so I can't wait until it's actually cooked. But yeah, this is literally all you do. I'm excited to try this. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way. My husband bought me flowers because I wasn't feeling good yesterday, so that's so sweet. And I have not put them in water yet. <laughs> All right, so I need to clean that. Sorry, spilled some earlier. So I'm just gonna crank this bad boy on low for about six hours. Um, we're about to head. It's what time is it now? It's oh my gosh, it's nine ten. I gotta hurry and get ready for church. Um, but normally, actually, I'm wondering if I should put it on high. Because we are going to be gone from like 11, 12, 1. I'm going to go ahead and put it on high. She said low for 6 hours or high for 3. So I'm going to go ahead and actually change this to high. Because I need this to be ready a little bit sooner than I thought. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm super pumped about this. Um, and I will tune in with you guys when I get back from church. And I'm able to try the chili and let you know how it goes. Okay guys, so we just got home from church. I'm whispering a little because um, Ross is asleep. But oh my god, look how good that looks. I'm so pumped. Um, I'm going to put it in a bowl and then I will check in with you guys and let you guys know how it tastes. But literally like when we open the door, let me turn to so you're not talking to a crock pot. Um, when we open the door, like I could automatically like smell the chili and it smells so good and I was like it smells like fall and Steven's like it smells like chili I'm like well when do you eat chili other than the fall whenever you want to if you eat chili when it's not fall comment down below all right y'all so um chili came out to zero points I did one fourth of fat free um cheddar cheese for zero points and then I did three tablespoons of sour cream um, for three points. If I had the low fat, it would be less. Um, so I'm going to try it. Like I said, it literally, it smells so good. Oh my God. It's so good. Y'all, this is literally the best chili I've ever had. The only thing I would do differently is... I like my chili a little bit spicy, so I think, um, but you can always add that afterhand. I think I might throw some like Tabasco in there. So I do like my chili spicy, but um, this was, like this is amazing. It's so good. And like this whole bowl, like two cups worth is like zero smart points. Like that is so crazy. And my eyelashes like throwing me off because it is messed up. I need to get my lashes done really bad. Um. But yeah, this was so good. This is so easy. Like, you need to be making this, like, yesterday, every day for fall. It's so good. I'm making this on Friday. I've already decided we're going over to a friend's, um, a couple of our friend's houses. Um, our, one of our, they're married. We're going to one of our married friend's houses. And so I'm definitely going to bring this, um, because it makes a lot and it's so good. Did you try a bite of it yet? Mm. You haven't tried it yet? You want to try it on camera? Do it for the vlog. <laughs> what was that? Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. Can I just get a little bite? I gotta process when it comes to chili and frigos. Oh, um, okay. Well, can you just try it real quick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's, really good. How's even, it? Even with the corn. As I say, corn and beans. Corn how's and it? beans. You like it? Okay. It's really good. All right. You'll like it too. 
All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you are watching this while you're sick, I hope that you're feeling better soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you, again, if you are new to my channel, hi. And I hope that you do decide to stick around. And I'm really glad that you sat through this video. And if you're one of my current subscribers, I love you guys so much. And I'm so very thankful for all of you guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.